Hey guys, welcome to a one pound, um, one pound, one penny coin hunt with me, Richie. All we're going to look for in these is stuff that's not supposed to be in there. Um, we're going to play around with a magnet as well in this video to see what happens when I throw a magnet in and how many can we pick up. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to just move the magnet to the side. And I think because there's quite a lot, I'm just going to raise the camera a bit. Move these here. So, when it comes to pennies, the only things really there is a super shiny 12 there. Um, is territories, like British Isles. Um, maybe we might find a North American or a Euro. Um, but besides that, there isn't really anything, it's just, this is just a bit of fun. And there is four pounds worth of pennies. So there's my magnet. It's supposed to be one of two, but there we go. Ready? If I do this, right, it will collect all the clad coins out. So we could, in theory, if you're doing like a copper, Coin search. Obviously, copper doesn't stick to magnets. So let's move Buddy out of the way. And you could just do this and separate like all the clad. Look at that from the copper. I wonder how many coppers we would have. Is that that? There's another. Let's just run it across like this, and you'll see the copper ones will stay and oh look at that <laughs> by doing that I found one it's got rugby on it let's bring the camera down so you can see that it's a rugby one so I'm guessing it's gonna be an Isle of... is it a jersey? no it's Isle of Man so how cool is that? so just by messing around with a magnet with found an Isle of Man penny and I haven't got that one in my collection so you see he's just doing that so is that one magnetic then? we'll have to check the year and we are going to start the search in a second it is magnetic so there's going to there probably is something there but as you can see like there's that one you can just do this that one's not magnetic that will just think so if you're someone who's just found another one there just collecting copper coins you can just do this and obviously that's it you see so I'm going to throw everything back in and I'm going to grab what I've just found again so I think we've actually found everything already in the first three minutes of me playing around but we've got a 2004 Falkland Islands Come on, focus. Don't focus on the ones behind. There we go. So that's pretty cool. So just by playing around with the magnet, we found two. So let's just start chucking them back in now and seeing what else we might be able to find. So there isn't really anything else we're looking for when it comes to pennies. We're just looking for the territories, the world, if any world coins have been thrown in there or whatever you know but the the pennies are more just for fun and there's another what's that i keep getting crank calls there's a jersey one that's a 1984 this is um there we go so, so far, in our first batch, we found three. So that's actually really, really cool. So I'm just gonna throw the thingy down like that. So yeah, that phone call, I didn't answer it because it's just them people, that phone, and I'm not in the mood to have any fun at the moment on the phone. I like to wind them up. And I've actually convinced a few. I don't know if you've seen the videos of Do You Know the Way. 
I actually was asking him, do you know the way? And the man actually said, yes, it's a hotel near where he lives. And I thought that was quite amusing. So, yeah. But yeah, in this video we've got three so far. So I wasn't not having wasn't having much hope for them because when it comes to sealed bags of pennies, you don't really tend to get loads of good finds. It's the more like the regular. Um, like money baggy wise is what you get the good stuff in like people obviously will sneak in American pennies Canadian pennies euros and I have found quite a few same with 10 pound uh, 10 pence bags when you get sealed bags you might be lucky and get a jersey or something but when it comes to the like hand sorted ones people just don't care they will throw American quarters in there and stuff like that so yeah we're just gonna fly through these pennies we've had our fun with the magnet and then we will carry on because there's like there's loads over there Got loads of pennies to fly through and it's still so hot here in London this room is like I'm putting my arms down on the towel and it's just you can feel it soaking up the sweat so I can just do this really couldn't I nothing there this is like the fastest coin hunt I've ever done. Let's move all these over there. But yeah, so far we've got what? Jersey, Isle of Man, Falkland Islands. And how does the Falkland Islands ones get here? They're, in, they're technically in South America. So unless someone's gone to the Falkland Islands, then I don't know how they could get mixed up with our coinage. I can understand the islands that are closer to us like Isle of Man and stuff but the Falklands this is actually an easier way of doing it is a bit more like how'd you get here guys you know what do you think? Do you think like someone deliberately has released them. Uh, look, see, look, look how shiny that is. That would have been awesome if that was like in the 90s or an 80s penny there. Or a new penny. They're still getting people asking me, do I want to buy their new pennies? And I'm like, nope. There's a 97 there. Get quite a few shiny 97s. Yeah, I had someone saying they wanted, she was wearing a tiara, apparently they got a new pence of the Queen wearing a tiara, and I was like, no thank you, I think, we can just find one, there we go, uh, it's just the regular ones. Because it's not like a crown crown. And I see it all the time on Facebook. I like they've found new pennies and then they think they're gonna be able to sell them for like big money. And it's like no mate, they're only worth scrap wise maybe two to three pence I think it is. Because of the copper content, because where's my magnetic see there's no copper. Uh, Copper obviously is not magnetic. The clad is so obviously there. We've got fingers. One that's been battered. 
Looks like it's been corroded, corroded a bit. It seems to be an odd sounding vehicle outside my home. It's a very busy street I live in, on. So, yeah, that's why most of the time I have to do my videos with my windows closed. Here is that one, that's an 06. Yeah, I have to do it with the uh, windows closed, but it's just too hot today. If I would have done that, I would have suffocated in here. As soon as I finished filming, I'm going to have these windows wide open again. I've got a big door next to me as well. That's going to be left open, and then they're literally open 24 hours. I live so high up, I can do that. So I think we've got, from the way it's looking right now, I think we have everything um, that we was going to find in this, what is it, 20 pounds I think, might, if we're lucky, get something else, but I don't think so. Right, last little batch. So I think I'm going to be doing 1P searches, maybe the 5P searches as well like this, instead of it being both hands and stuff in the way. No. So that's it. So we did get some really cool finds. One of them I, we don't have. I'm not sure if I've got this um, Jersey Penny already. I'll have to check. Where's my, my book is here? You can see my camera is overheating from the heat. So let's go to the back of the UK book. Got some Australia and New Zealand right at the back. It needs to be sorted. Right, so I know I don't have this this penny. And this is the Isle of Man penny. And if I got a golf for Isle of Man there. So I'm going to, I need to get another sleeve, I need to get another book, so I'm going to put that one in there, so that's there, right, no, so I don't think, let me just, the jersey, 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 there's another one of them, um, Falkland, but no, I don't think I have this jersey either. So how cool is that guys? Two coins for the book. And that's completed my second page of UK territories. There we go. Plus we got that extra one there. So guys, if you've made it this far, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe and all that awesome stuff. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next one and remember to subscribe so you can find out about all the giveaways I'm doing and stuff as well so yeah guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one happy coin hunting guys see you later